It's day 223. The Prophet and the Children of Nadir As soon as the Prophet was informed, he left that place quietly without showing any sign of worry or fear. This was the way for Allah the Most High to save his Prophet instantly. After the Prophet left, one of those present there said, Do you know why he got up and left? He was informed about what you were planning. They looked at each other in amazement. How do you know this? The man said, He is a prophet. All of his signs are mentioned in the Torah. He is the last prophet. It is so clear. I imagine in the days to come, very soon, you people on the backs of camels leaving this place. They said, All right then, what do you suggest we do? Accept Islam, the man said. Join the companions of Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. That way, you can save yourself and your children. No, they said, we would never leave our ways. The Prophet then gave the Bani Nadir 10 days to renew the agreement between them, but they did not want to even consider it. After this, the Prophet encircled their castles with his soldiers. Seeing themselves helpless, the Jews surrendered. The Prophet did not touch any one of them. He only demanded that they leave their place and go somewhere else. This way, they could not do any more harm to the Muslims. The Bani Nadir loaded all their belongings onto their camels and started out towards Khaibar, where other Jews were living.